support roles. Our roles within the university vary, but include professional staff from faculty-based support roles through to library-based staff in roles ranging from managers to subject and liaison librarians or learning skills advisors. The core members of the Research Skills Development Framework Working Group in Victoria are across the spectrum of seniority and management levels through to academic and student support roles. This diversity allows us to use our members' existing knowledge and contacts to support the introduction of the Research Skills Development Framework and sister frameworks into a range of areas. Um, this afternoon, if you're interested, we'll provide specific examples on how this core group of 10 people is operating to support one another and guide the introduction and encourage the integration of the RSD framework into a range of master's programs and look at how the collaboration between staff is essential for the project's success. Since our establishment in November 2014, the core group has been working on a range of projects, including the preparation and use of resources to support the introduction of the RSD into new fields and new universities, using the RSD to connect students to the idea of professional practice in the Master of Communication Design, laying the groundwork to introduce students in linguistics to the RSD through unit design, mapping the research skills of students as skills already taught in the Master of Nursing program, developing research mindedness in students completing their nursing or teaching programs. Research skills development framework and the work skills development framework are also being used in the Masters of Management. We are also using the research skills development framework to provide the basis for developing teaching strategies and informing pedagogy in the way we use the online flipped classroom and introducing the research skills development framework and work skills development framework based uh, criteria into the assessment of a master's level learning portfolio in the clinical pharmacy program. Through valuable relationships with academic programs and strong internal support within the core group, we've been able to capitalize on the various introductory RSD workshops held within the region. The core members are able to provide timely relevant support for interested academics, we are a small team with a large reach, and much of our success has been driven by using the RSD as a common language to have collaborative conversations and develop solutions which work for the individual circumstance. What the final solution looks like isn't always what the initial proposal is. <coughs> there has been significant time and energy invested in building relationships which allow us to offer suggestions, work closely with academics in our area, and incorporate the RSD as a solution. One of the key of the success of the Victoria Tasmania cluster so far has been the ability of the core members to build trust with the academics they are supporting. Um, we're going to use this afternoon, if you're interested, um, to look at how we frame collaborative conversations, work through some of the examples that we have, particularly the development of the rubric for the learning portfolio in the Masters of Clinical Pharmacy. The unique makeup of this group demonstrates that change doesn't need to be driven by individual academic staff members or unit coordinators. It needs to be supported through many levels. This resonates with the cluster idea fostered by this research project, where each group develops and shares their experience to facilitate the integration of the RSD more widely than we can possibly ever work on. 